Hey everyone, Deco Network Business Development Manager Zach Tourist here to give you a high level overview of how the new Deco Network Shopify integration works uh, with the software. There's a lot of help documentation that goes with connecting a Shopify site to a Deco Network site and it can be a little overwhelming. And what we want to do is just give again a high level overview of how this all works and then set some expectations because the Shopify integration isn't for everybody and you don't necessarily want to just start marketing that you have it. This is really meant for when you have a client who has an existing Shopify site and they want you to do the fulfillment and you don't want to re-enter the orders in Business Hub. Or maybe you have a client that sells shirts and other products and they want to outsource the shirts to you. That is what the Shopify integration is for. Don't think that, oh, this all of a sudden is a better solution than building websites on Deco Network. That is definitely not what it's for. And one, one it's unnecessary. And two, uh, this is for pre-decorated retail orders. It is not for custom orders. It is a mapping process. And that mapping process, it's a pull method. We're gonna pull from Shopify into Deco. We're not going to start in Deco, push to Shopify, pull back. It's going to go Shopify into Deco. And there's definitely some pros uh, to this method. So first thing, I uh, realize again, there's a lot of help documentation. I myself had no experience with using Shopify. It, while it's a lot, it's not that difficult at all. So let's dive into this and hopefully this will alleviate and answer some questions. So let's start off with Step one, we need to go into Shopify and we need to essentially build an app that we can connect then into a Deco Network site. For each Shopify store we want to connect, we are then going to connect it into a Deco Network site. So one of the things to keep in mind is you have to be on the premium or enterprise plan. You don't have to be on enterprise, but uh, premium or enterprise because you need affiliate sites to be able to map these orders too. So uh, first thing we're going to do is again, we're going to go into Shopify and we're going to create an app. The documentation as always is extremely uh, thorough and well put together. If you follow this documentation, it's not that difficult. So we're going to hop over to Shopify and we're going to come into this bottom left hand corner. Sorry, I'm not already there. Settings. Apps and sales channels, develop apps, create an app. And we'll just call this Deco Network Shopify integration. We'll create the app. We're then going to configure what we call the admin API scopes. I'll be honest, I have no clue what I'm really talking about here, but I follow Deco Network's documentation and it works. And that's all that really matters. So if we come back to this documentation, uh, identifying the scopes is really, we, we need to be able to say that we're going to outsource orders from the Shopify store. And we need to be able to set that expectation by building this app. So under the API scopes, we want to check, write, and read fulfillment uh, orders, read fulfillments, write fulfillments, inventory, and products. So come back. We'll scroll down. Fulfillments, write and read fulfillments, write, read inventory, and one more about products. Write, read products. Okay. Now that we have that, we'll save. And that will then allow us to view our API key by installing the app. Install, that's going to reveal our key. And now we can grab this key, come back to Deco Network. So again, this is kind of how we're going to link between two sites. So if we come into our Deco Network site, Remember, each store, each Shopify store needs to be mapped to a Deco Network store. And we have this Fulfill Shopify Orders section. 
Now this won't pop up until you've enabled the app. So down here in the app store, you can find the Shopify integration app and you can enable it. Again, you have to be on premium or enterprise to be able to enable the Shopify integration app. From here, we can then come into the settings and we can add our API key so that we've now created the bridge between Shopify and Deco Network. Now we haven't done any mapping of products or orders at this point, but we've got the ball rolling. We've been able to connect the two. Um, and now let's actually go into how to map these products and orders. All right, now we need to start setting up the products in Shopify. But unlike Deco Network, they don't have a design tool that just allows us to take artwork and drop it on a bunch of shirts and the mockups are automatically generated. So you're typically having to make those mockups on Photoshop, Canva, or some other tool and then having to upload them on here. That's not good enough for us in Deco Network because we need to be able to download that actual artwork file. So what we need to do is set up a meta field. So we're going to come into Shopify, custom data. We're going to come into our products. We're going to define a new meta field. And what we're going to be setting up is a, um, a, a file upload. So we want the ability to upload an image, essentially the design and define if where it's being located. So what you might do is like call it the front decoration is the meta field and we're allowing an image to be uploaded for that. And then again, when it comes time to fulfill the order, that information is going to go from Shopify over to Deco Networks Business Hub. Now that we've set up the meta fields, it's time to actually build the products in Shopify. So if we come over here to products, you can see I created this long sleeve shirt and made sure that the meta fields are available so that I can upload the design right here. So we have the meta field front decoration file. I made my mock-up in Photoshop and then I dropped the actual image, the design that we're going to be decorating that I need to show up again in Business Hub as if it were any other order on a website uh, on Deco Network. Now that we've created the products in Shopify and attached the artwork using meta fields, we're ready to begin mapping the designs and products to Deco Network. Now one of the beautiful things about this poll method, when I say poll, Whatever happens in Shopify is being pulled into Deco Network. We don't actually have to map designs or products until orders technically come in. I mean, we don't have to do a bunch of work until we start getting orders. So just keep that in mind. You can map um, as the products are added in Shopify, or you can map them once orders start flowing uh, into the site. Something very important to keep in mind, the order must be paid for um, by the Shopify outsourcer. So when they're outsourcing the order to you, they are automatically paying for the order using Deco Pay. And that order has been invoiced at that point. You cannot have the order go from Shopify into Deco Network until that has been done. Now, in addition to mapping the products, we need to map things such as the shipping method the uh, designs, the products, and then once the actual orders start flowing in, if you haven't done completely, you need to finish the mapping process. So we have a product in Shopify. In this case, it's the G2400. What I then had to do was actually map that, okay, in Deco Network, I wanna use the G2400 from Sanmar, the white shirt that we're selling on Shopify is technically this. This is the true skew for each of these sizes. And then I can place the design uh, where it needs to. And again, this design is not coming from Deco Network. It is making its way over from Shopify. Once a product and order has been properly mapped, it'll flow directly into Business Hub as if it was bought off of a normal Deco Network website. Again, the Shopify integration is not meant to replace Deco Network websites that you may provide to clients, schools, whoever. It is a tool 
for when you have that client that has an existing site um, and doesn't want to leave it or they sell other products, that's when you really want to be using and taking advantage of this Shopify integration. If you have any questions on how the Shopify integration works, please do not hesitate raising a support ticket with client services and always refer back to the documentation as it will answer a lot of your questions. Thank you.